Renovations, they're a blast, right? No, really. I do love, I love, hey Piper. <laughs>
to the level. This is kind of hard to describe. Um, I wish I had a close-up of the pencil on the level. Also, the pencil will get very dull, so you just use your regular pencil sharpener like any kindergartner would have and just sharpen your pencil again. But back to the, the angle of the pencil. Um, also, I'm trying to press on the wall, not too much on the level. I try, of course, not to move the level, keep the level as steady as you possibly can and trying to concentrate the pressure on the wall and not so much touching the level really helps. And if you get hot and sweaty, always put your hair in a ponytail. Back to work, and my pencil needs sharpened again. Can you just continue drawing your lines on down the wall, making sure your level stays level? And here is something to be oh, right there aware of. If your level moves and you go off the road, don't worry. It's very easily fixed. Remember, we're using a pencil. So a regular eraser is what you'll use to fix those mistakes. And I'll show you in just a minute. Yep, a regular old pink eraser is going to fix all the little mistakes that we make on our wall. And this might also make a difference what kind of paint you have on your wall. I've been using Sherwin-Williams. Um, I used to be a Valspar girl, but years ago they changed their formula and I became kind of not so impressed with them. So I've switched to Sherwin-Williams and I've always had a good time uh, painting with that kind of paint. Um, I don't really believe there's any such thing as a one coat coverage paint. If, if you found one that works, please let me know because I always seem to have to do two coats. But anyway, using your pink eraser, just fix any mistakes that you make along the way and continue on down the line. Here's how the wall was looking at the halfway point.
pro tip, don't have any knee pads and your knees are killing you, grab some pillows off the couch. Now, what to do about this outlet? I didn't even remove the cover. I suppose you could remove the cover. I didn't because it wasn't gonna make any difference anyway. My level was still gonna go over and not be really flush against the wall. I went ahead and did the line below the outlet and saved it for last. But if you're just very careful, your level may not be flush, or if you have a smaller level that would fit if you run into this sort of thing, you know, just make do with what you have and just try to make your line as straight as you possibly can. I really didn't have any trouble, but I got faith in you. You can do it too. After your lines are all drawn, just go back and fix any little places where you feel like it needs to be filled in a little more or erase anything that might have gone off the rails and you're done. The shiplap wall is complete and it's not permanent. You're not committed to having a shiplap wall forever. You can paint right over this and move on to whatever trendy thing comes next. that's it that's all there is to it i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing i post videos every friday bye